Hello and welcome to another episode of Chainmail the Podcast, aka Chainmail the Podcast. How are you? How's the family? How's the pets? I hope everyone's doing well. Hello. Um it is currently eleven forty five AM on Wednesday. Um I am off today. I am recording for you guys so we can put out some content. I've decided to go to the um every other week uploading schedule because I have a lot going on in life and yeah <laughs> ah but I hope I hope you've been well um it is freezing cold in my closet right now um I, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. And I don't have a blanket. I don't own a blanket. So. I have like full fledged comforters in my closet, but I don't have a throw blanket. So. I'm just going to grab one of the pillows that I also have in my closet and shove my legs into the pillowcase. Hopefully, that will make me warm. Uh, but yeah, what's what's up? What's up, guys? It's been a long time coming. Am I right? <laughs> the pillow is also cold, so I'm not really helping anything yet. But hopefully my body heat will warm it up. Body heat. Did you learn about body heat in school? I hope you did. I hope you learned about the way your body distributes heat. Um, teachers. Let's talk about teachers while we're here. Uh, teachers are very important people in our lives. Well, I, I know a lot of people know that. Teachers shape who you are more than people that you think will shape your life. Um, sorry, that was something in my teeth. Um, but yeah, teachers are really important people. Um, we don't give them enough recognition for the work that they do. People are so mean to teachers. I always hated people that were just rude to teachers. I'm like, dude, they're trying to help you out. Now on the curriculum and all that stuff, heck no, that doesn't do anything for your life unless you're going into a study that is based on that curriculum, that area of the curriculum. The curriculum does nothing. The school system is awful. But the teachers can be really good people that really help you as a person. Forget, help you learn math well. I'm saying they teach you really good life lessons and stuff. Those are the best teachers that are looking out for you later in life rather than just the way your grades look. Uh, I used to teach, I was a teacher for two years. I taught second grade. Uh, I used to want to be a teacher. So, I know this sounds weird. I'm 18. I'm talking about I was a teacher for two years. What the hecky heck? Uh, but I wanted to be a teacher. I thought that's what I wanted to do in high school. Uh, so, I took teaching classes like education and training and teaching one and all that stuff so I taught second grade both years um it was super fun I loved teaching I have so many stories from teaching I miss it so 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 much I remember my most memorable teacher moment was this little boy in he was he was so funny. He was my favorite. I loved him. And he was actually a kid. No, I'm not going to disclose this. Though. But he was so he was so funny. He was hilarious. Everything he did was so funny to me. And one day he needed me to sharpen his pencil. It was a brand new pencil fresh out the box. The wood smell was impeccable. I mean there was there was still still wood shavings falling off this pencil how fresh it was it was straight from the tree you could feel the sap 
But anyways, it was a fresh pencil. Fresh out the Dixon box. Number two, yellow wood pencil. Dixon brand. The green box. Um, he got a fresh pencil. Good eraser. Nice rubber eraser. And I was standing by the pencil sharpener. Because the sink was by the pencil sharpener. And he was over there. And he goes, Mia, can you sharpen my pencil? And just chucks it across the room. I mean, no warning, no nothing. He was just like, can you sharpen my pencil? Doop. And I was like, ah. And I had to try to dodge it, but catch it at the same time. He was hilarious. I remember one time he, he, never mind. Not gonna, <laughs> not gonna do that today but he was hilarious i loved teaching small children uh i actually wanted to teach um younger than second grade i didn't want to delve into the elementary school range um my target was like not target oh god that makes me sound like a pedo or some shoot not target my desired grade to teach or grades plural were like preschool to first grade and then skipping all that elementary school middle school and doing 11th and 12th grade so yeah uh, there's no in between I'm either teaching really young kids Kids that are learning about, kids that are still developing into children or teenagers that are developing into adults. It was no in between because that in between range, they start to question authority. They start to rebel a lot and things like that. And I don't want to handle that. I don't want to deal with that. So it's either one or the other. Small children are almost adults. Uh, I actually wanted to teach college as well. That's a whole different degree, but I still wouldn't mind teaching college. But yeah, um, yeah, teaching was super fun. Not what I want to do anymore, obviously. Um, obviously. But yeah, I really, ouch, really love teaching. I miss teaching. The one thing that always made me mad about teachers, though, is that their dress code was different. Like public schools. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. My stand for my mic is low-key broken. And I keep unscrewing it. And it's not making anything better. But their dress code was different. For what? Why Why is it that their skirts can be a little bit shorter than ours? And they'd be acceptable. You know what I mean? Why? Where, why, why, where is this privilege coming from? It made me mad, and I'm sure it made a lot of people mad. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure it just, it just sparked a memory in your head of like, oh yeah, I remember that one teacher that was always borderline. <sighs> so, borderline on the teacher dress code, way past the student dress code. You know what I mean? Like, you'd wear something. And they'd be like, mm -mm, take that off. Go to the go to the um principal. No, 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 no. And then the teacher would come the next day in the same outfit, but a little bit more over dress code. A little bit more past that student dress code line. Like, why is it that teachers can wear they don't they they can wear shirts without sleeves. We can't. They can wear dresses that are a little bit shorter than ours. Like, before my school, well, my my high school, uh, when I left, the dress code for skirts and stuff were fingertips. But before, it was fingertips because it changed my... Anyways, it was changed to um, fingertips. That was my last year of high school. Before that, it was, I think, uh, four inches above the knee is the highest that it could be. And I'm pretty sure the teachers were like six, 
might be. Theirs could be a little bit shorter. Okay. They had a separate handbook that was like, you can be a little bit more scandalous than them. Um, dress codes always made me mad. There was always, uh, I'm not even going to get into that discussion. Dress codes are stupid, regardless if you go to a public school or not. And I know older people always like to use that argument. It's a time and a place to wear things. It, no, it's not. You wear what you are comfortable in. Style. Drip style and fashion. That's what it is. Three different things. But still, what I'm comfortable wearing, what I feel most comfortable and confident wearing, I'm going to wear. It's not about, oh, I'm going to this place, so I have to wear this kind of stuff. No. Kiss the bottom of my foot. Anyways, I'm I'm extremely tired today. Um, I should have ate an energy bar. Probably gonna do that when I finish. Uh, uh, but yeah, that was just so stupid. So stupid. The shoulders, and then they would make you put duct tape if your if your jeans were ripped. Um past the four inches it would make you put straight up duct tape on your leg torture pretty much um real real stupid real crazy (laughs) real living on edge you know (laughs) wild (laughs) um but since we're talking about school i've been seeing a lot of stuff coming back up about um what color subjects are so let's have that discussion um, my tone of voice makes it sound like this is not a comedy podcast. It is. I promise you it is. My, I might not be funny. I'm not a funny person. I'm not funny. So I don't know why <laughs> I decided to make a comedy podcast. Um, my, my podcast should be in a new subcategory of boring podcast. Um, painstakingly boring podcasts a genre coming 2020 because mia decided to make an awful podcast (laughs) that's me i'm cramping so bad um i've been in bed all day the only reason i remember to get up and record is because i was typing something on my phone and the word podcast popped up as um a recommendation word and I remembered that it is Wednesday Uh, uh, subjects I've been seeing a lot of people like English is red math is blue you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about what color subjects are so let's talk about it the subjects that we are going to be talking about today (laughs) are English math history and science and then we'll put electives as a broad range so electives as a whole um regardless of what the elective is electives as a whole electives are purple the end electives are purple english is green math is blue social studies is orange and science is red now here's why electives are purple because purple is not a everyday color purple is not a go-to color purple is a color that you have to pick electives you have to pick purple is also just a very spunky color it can insinuate seriousness or it can insinuate fun which means with electives you're either picking something that you plan on studying which is the seriousness or you're you're Picking something that is a hobby to you, which is fun. Electives are purple. I needed to write down what I just said because I don't even remember what I just said. Um, Science is red because science, science can be so mentally draining. But there's something that just keeps you, keeps you drawn in. 
something about the color red that's like, ugh, I should stay away from that. But it's something about it that's so beautiful. When we see the color red, we're like, wow, that is so pretty, so good looking. But it might be dangerous. It might be too much for me to handle. But I still, there's something about it that's so intriguing to me. Science is red. That's what science is. Science is awful, but I love science. I love it. Uh, what, what else did I say? Social studies is orange because there's something so, I don't know, something so mysterious about the color orange. Like when you see somebody, when you see something that's orange, you're like, what is your purpose? What, what, what message are you trying to give? And that's what I feel like history does. I like history. One of my favorite subjects. But but history, there's just... It makes you think. Color orange makes you think. History is orange. And I think we all know that. I don't know what I said for the other ones. Gotta say English was blue or green. I'm going to go back and listen and see what I said. <laughs> okay, we're back. English is green and math is blue is what I said. So let me write that down before I forget because I am stupid. <laughs> oh, no, that's the trash. Shoot, I forgot to put the trash by the road. Did I? I didn't. Whoops. Ah! Okay. English is green because English is such a breezy subject. Green means go. Green means go. English, you just go. You go through it. You go to it. You get it done. It's easy. English is breezy. Easy, breezy, beautiful thugger girls. Thugger girls. Tugger, baby. Tugger. <laughs> the Tucker. <laughs> Anyways, uh, McDonald. Oh my God! Let's not talk about corpse today. I I haven't even really no. I don't really know much about corpse, but what they talk about on TikTok. Anyways, English is green. English is easy. English, you get it done. You go through the light. You don't think about it. You just drive. English is that. You don't think about it. You just do it. Math is blue. Math is blue because blue can be so many different colors, but the blues could be so close that it makes it seem like it's the other color. That you get confused and you start to question what color is what. And then you get sad because you can't figure out your colors. So you start to cry. Sadness is alliterated with the color blue. Um, because math makes you sad. Math makes you confused. Too many things in math are alike, so you don't know what is what. Math is awful. Math is blue. Thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. They don't even say that. Why do Why do we start saying that? They don't say that in the TED Talks. Have you watched a TED Talk? Talking about thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Shut up. Shut up. That's like, I don't know. That's like the director coming out after every movie and saying, after at, at every movie theater, after their movie airs and saying, thank you for watching my movie. That's what thank you for coming to my TED Talk sounds like. Don't say it. Stupid. Shut up. It's not what happens. Go watch a TED Talk, rat. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm extremely cold still. I'm on my period. So that's probably why. My period, I'm anemic and I have an iron, I have a vitamin D deficiency. Probably why I'm freezing cold. <laughs> 
love being a female health class females health class males health class non-binaries health class make it fit make make it so that way people know the the real real don't just don't just teach health for a general for for a general sexuality and a general gender no help females help straight females know stuff about their health help help bisexual females know stuff about health and and sex help help gay females no help straight men gay men bisexual men know the real help non-binary people know the real help help trans people know the real that makes me that's the thing that gets me so heated with our school system is health cut the shit out we learned enough we we got this at the way that social media is now we can learn the I almost cursed we can learn this by ourselves get it out of schools you're not doing anything but make girls uncomfortable make weirdo hypersexual teenage boys get off Ugh! look at me getting mad Ugh! get health out of the school system Sex education, yes, for all genders and all sexual orientations. Teach them the real, real, not the textbook version. God, please. I'm going to make a school <laughs> just for that. <laughs> uh, I'm in so much pain. These girls got periods. All girls know is they're supposed to get their period. That's all they know. They don't know anything about it. I got you, girly. You want to know about how 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 your your region works? Hit me up. For real, for real. I got you. What is this turning into? I don't know. Oh, somebody had a baby. I want a baby so bad. I want a kid. I feel like that is why I was put on this earth. Was to be a mother. So that is what I want. I want to be a mommy, dude. I want to be a mommy. I want to have a reason to be alive. That's what children do. They give you a reason to be to live they give you a reason a purpose these shoes are incredible check your dms what get get out of here get out of here get out of here man check yo dms get out of here who says that what let's talk about that let's talk about that crap right there People who text like they're illiterate. God, please, please text like a normal human being. I promise girls will like you more if you text like a normal person. Not freaking YHU when you're trying to say you. Just, just put the letter U if you want to be so unique and stupid. Just put the letter U. Don't Y H U. What is that? What is that? That's not an aesthetic. That's illiteracy. You, you, uh, I want you. W O N T. Won't. Wrong term, sir. Now, it's funny when people put in the TikTok comments. Be like, you fine as hell. I want you. 
<laughs> Those are hilarious. TikTok comments are so funny. There's so many TikTok trends that I love. TikTok comment trends that are hilarious to me. So funny. Love them. I think I'm bleeding on myself. Oh, no, my butt's just going numb from laying on this floor. Uh, Real open with you guys today. Wow. Probably just lost a few listeners. Uh, We are at 400 streams, dude. 400. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you that have ever listened to this podcast. Even if you only listened to the first five minutes, it was like, yeah, this this chick is weird. I love you, okay? I love you. Thank you so much for for pressing play, even if it was, was on accident. You heard my voice. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks so much. And that's only on SoundCloud and Spotify because those are the only ones I check. Um, and I only check them like whenever it pops up on my spot, my spot, stuttering dingle hopper. Um, when it pops up on my SoundCloud and I'm like, oh, let me look at this. I look at it. I'm like, oh my God. Uh, <gasps> This many people are listening to me. <sighs> and there's people in so many different places. And there's so many of you out there. Thought it was just people in America, in my hometown, that were listening to me. But it's so many of you guys that are all over the world. Like, it, it, it's so crazy to me. So wild. Let me go to it real quick. But it's so crazy. I never thought I would get here, dude. Like, uh, it's wild. It's super wild. Why, oh, why, oh, why, 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 Belgium and Ireland. What? Are you, are you serious? There's people. Okay, my top six. Germany, France, the United Kingdom, Ireland, and Belgium. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Wow. Me? Mia? In France? You're listening? Wow. Belgium? Ireland? Hello? Thank you? Um... It- <laughs> What the heck? So surreal, dude. Like, wow. Wow. Um, now I'm just thinking about it. TikTok comment trends. So funny. I like when people are like, why is it? And then they put the little star. The stars emoji. And they put a word with spaces in between each letter. But like, why is this audio crunchy? With the stars on both sides. <laughs> or it'll be like a backhanded comment. Or it'll be it'll be a bad it'll be a jab, but they put the stars next to it, so it sounds sweet. They'll be like, don't do it again with st- inside stars or something. Hilarious. Uh, hey, LOL. <laughs> those are so funny. I love seeing those in people's comments. Makes my day. Hey, LOL. It's so cute to me. Sorry, I'm cramping really right now. Don't even want to talk. Let me just let this wave of cramps pass. Um, I have to pee, so I'm gonna end this in a little bit. I have to pee really bad. Uh, yeah, I have to pee, dude. Let me get off of Instagram. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take some super cool outfit photos today if I feel better. 
Um, because I got a tripod and I want to test it out because I don't have friends to take my picture. So, I bought a really tall tripod so that way I can take pictures of myself outside. Uh, yeah. I almost dropped the mic on my face. I'm cramping super bad. So, I think I'm going to end this right here because. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like poop. Might go shower just so I could think I feel better. Thanks so much for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I uh, hope you guys are okay with the new uploading schedule. Uh, it takes a lot of stress off of me. Sorry if you don't like it. I apologize. Um, but yeah. See you guys next week. Deuce.